Hello and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. Today I'll be covering the Advanced Options page in Shopbook Pro's Preferences. These Advanced Options allow you to fine-tune Shopbook Pro to your exact taste. To get to the Advanced Options, you'll navigate to the Shopbook Pro menu here at the top of your screen and then select Preferences. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Command Comma. From there, select Advance on the far right, and you'll see the different sections. Under the first section titled Date Options, you have the option to attempt to overwrite the date modified and or the date created to match the original file's date. This makes sense for some workflows, but is not the default. It should be noted that you cannot select the option to keep the source modification date without also selecting Keep Source Creation Date. This is because that would result in a file indicating that it was last edited before it was created. By default, files that are copied will have the creation and modification date set to the date and time they were copied. The second portion of the section allows you to edit the date format that will be used. This is very similar to how date formatting works in the Mac OS system preferences, so it should look familiar. Here, you can drag and drop these tokens to build out your date format or use custom text by typing directly into the box. Alternatively, you can select a common date format from the list down below to have it automatically applied. What you select here will be your global default date format. That means it will be used in your reports and will become the default for any new preset naming scheme components that are date-based. You will then have the option to change these on the preset level. For more information on how the date formatting works, please review our other video using the link below. The final section of the Advanced Options tab is titled Copy Options. Here, you can choose how Shopbook Pro handles symbolic links. Symbolic links are files containing path information such as references to other files. Often, these links are absolute paths, which means that when they are copied, they are no longer valid. You can instruct Shopbook Pro how to handle them in different ways. These options are to relink to source, relink to replicated source, copy original, or copy original link. If you'd like more information on what each of these options does, check out our video on symbolic links using the link in the description. Additionally, you can set how Shopbook Pro performs media analysis. The options are to have it done concurrently with replication, concurrently with verification, or after verification. To ensure a quick replication and verification time, a user would want to select the last of these options. However, the fastest option overall is to analyze it concurrently with replication. Underneath the media analysis options are three boxes that will further help you automate your workflow. The first is to automatically rename destinations upon collision. This means that if two destinations have the same name, one will automatically be renamed. Two other choices available to you are to cancel your copy if an error occurs and to auto eject your source upon the job's completion. Finally, there are two last buttons down here, change language and reset to default. The change language button will take you to your max language and regions page, where you will be able to select a custom language to use in Shopbook Pro. The languages that are supported include English, Spanish, and simplified Chinese. On the other hand, Reset to Defaults will reset your preferences to the factory default, not only for the advanced page, but for all other preferences as well. I hope this video has given you some helpful information on how to navigate the Advanced Options tab in the Shopbook Pro Preferences panel. If you have questions about any of the other tabs, please check out our other videos on our channel using the links below. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together!